Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.49 in the morning. Uh, today's topic is NASA rewrites the Zodiac? Way too early. Or that Higgs prosome space the electrons light. The magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, our mathematics, a solution. Asteroid. What am I doing up? Um... So what is the zodiac? Uh, that's where um, our you know there are twelve star constellations, and uh, in astronomy these are constellations that that sit in the night sky. In astrology, uh, which where where all the hubbub is coming from, the, the big controversy here. Uh, in astrology, the the date range that you were born in determines your zodiac sign and. Uh, behavior traits and possibly your future all mapped out who knows um, but the back in January uh, NASA wrote an article talking about the astronomy of the zodiac uh, and how it came from Babylonian Babylonians about 3,000 years ago and back then there were actually maybe 13 signs and they all look different than they do now uh, someone caught wind of this and thought that NASA was going to rewrite the Zodiac and change all of everyone's horoscopes. Uh, and that was back in January. And then just, just this last week, this last month, more articles came out because they need to regurgitate this thing that happened six months ago. Um, and said, oh, NASA's rewriting the Zodiac. NASA's changing all of our astrology. Um, yeah, no. So NASA has stated that, uh, Astrology is not astronomy, astrology is not science, and NASA only deals with science. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> End of story. So, um, but it's kind of fun to think about what's actually going on here. So when the Babylonians were, were looking at the night sky, you know, in the morning when the sun was coming up, the sunrise, the sun would come up through different portions of the sky throughout the year. Um, and so each portion of the sky, they would give a label. Oh, there's a star constellation there. Let's call that part of the sky that constellation. Um, and as, uh, as the year went through, they would track where the sun was coming up at sunrise. Um, and so because back then they have a 12-month calendar, they picked 12 signs. Um, I guess originally there was a possibility of 13 signs. Uh, some sources say there may even been 48, 50, 60, whatever constellation signs. I don't know. I mean, there's a bunch of star constellations up there in the sky, right? How do you pick just a few? Um, but they picked 12. Almost picked 13, I guess, but 12, they had 12 months, so they picked 12. And they said those, you know, those are the zodiac signs. Um, now... This whole idea that, well, over time, uh, you know, the, the night sky shifts, uh, well, that's very real. So, you know, in 3,000 years, the we have shifted a little bit. Um, the sun doesn't rise in those constellation segments of the sky anymore, I guess. I mean, I don't know for sure. Uh, but that's the, that's the details behind the story. What's going on there? So, Earth is at a tilt, right? Everyone knows that. And when Earth goes around the sun, you this tilt sort of follows us all the way around. That's where we get our seasons from. You know, we're rotating like this once a day. Um, and if you're tilted, if you're in the northern hemisphere and you're tilted towards the sun, that's your summer. If you're tilted away, that's your winter, side to side, the fall and spring. Well, you know, our solar system, we live in a system where there's more tugging at us than just the sun or the moon, uh, you know, all the planets in the solar system give us a little tug. And so what we're finding is that this, our, um, our axis wobbles. And I forget what the duration of the wobble is. It's, it's something over several hundred years. Um, and so when we have a year where we have summer, winter, and back again, this wobble you know, over several hundred years could change when we feel our seasons. Now, 
every year it only changes by a little bit so we never notice the change but over 300 years 3,000 years um, that wobble makes a significant difference not only that you know the stars around us are always moving as well um, but because they're so far away they move so slowly well there's a because again the shift in the tilt and a shift in in the whole field of stars um, what we see now is not what the Babylonians saw 3,000 years ago uh, and I guess you know the question comes up well do, will it ever go back to a starting point and yeah I guess the period is about 25,000 years <laughs> when we get back to to what we just what we saw before or something like that. So, something huge and insane like that but um, you know so right now what our axis points at so when you look at the sky and you see the north star um, you know that's what we use for north but in several thousand years that you know what's whatever's north star will change because our axis will be pointing at a different star um, but in 25,000 years it'll be back to Cirrus the north star again so so there you go um, I won't be alive then so I won't care but it's interesting to think about how we our system is bigger than just our earth sun system earth sun moon system or even the nine planets or eight planets and however many dwarf planets you know what what astrology sorry what astronomy is dependent on is an ever-changing field of stars and gravitational pulls and what we see and view and um it's kind of interesting so all right, there you have it. NASA's not messing with our astrology. Uh, they never will. They never have. Uh, they deal in science. Astrology is not science, but um, fun to think about. So how time changes uh, what we see. So, all right, I gotta head off to work. You gotta go do uh, whatever it is you do. We'll talk to you next time.